Hello everyone, this is Lolly. I want to share this new product from Nuvo called Chalk Mousse. Now you might be familiar with the mousse that they have previously had, just called their embellishment mousse. And they also have crackle mousse. So I'm going to show you the chalk mousse. It comes in these three colors, and I'm also going to co compare them to the crackle mousse and, and the embellishment mousse. So the three colors for the chalk mousse, this one is strawberry frappe, this one is coconut sorbet, and this one is mint mojito. Now they don't smell, they just have kind of fruity names to them. So I'm going to look at the this one here because I can compare it to these sort of in these colors. The embellishment mousse I have is aquamarine. The crackle mousse that I have is the water nymph. And then, of course, the mint mojito in the chalk mousse. So what I did was I was using their new stencils. And I'm using this one first, and this one is these beautiful hearts. And so I put these in on white cardstock in this order, embellishment mousse, crackle mousse, chalk mousse. Now I need to bring you in here so you can see the difference. So the regular mousse is frosty. I'm sorry, my fingers have mousse under them. These are frosty, and it is a beautiful look, but sometimes you want a different look. Like this one, the crackle mousse, as it dries, it goes down looking like the embellishment mousse, but as it dries, you'll see that it becomes all crackled. It's beautiful, almost like stained glass, and this is great for really vintage projects. But what if you don't want any of that shimmer? This is what the chalk mousse looks like, and exactly as you'd expect, it has a very chalky look. This reminds me of sea glass. Okay, now I did the same thing on black cardstock. There's the embellishment mousse. You can see my little smudgies. There's the crackle mousse, and there's the chalk mousse. And I want to show you the chalk mousse comparing on black and on white. Okay, very pretty. And I love the texture. The texture of this, these are, um, the crackle mousse is really more loose than the other two. This has a smooth velvety feel and this is almost a spongy feel to it as I'm putting it in the stencils. Okay, and I want to show you also how the pink one or the strawberry one looks when it's on white and black as well very pretty. When using a stencil, it is easier if you use something like this, which is their mixed media board. Uh, and it comes with two magnets. They are very strong, and I have purchased two extras. The reason I'm not using this on camera is just because of the glare, as you could see right there. So I use this when I'm off camera and I'm working on a project. Um, so that I don't have to worry about the glare myself. But for video purpose, I'm going to use this stencil that came in one of the Christmas kits. And I'm going to cover up the section I don't want, which is this little these little string of lights, which are really cute. But I just want to get these little sparkly things here. And I'm going to line that stencil up there. The beauty of using the mixed media board that I just showed you is that it is magnetic and you can put the magnets to really hold this down. You see my stencil is really kind of sticking up in the middle here. But I want to show you with this mousse, um, when you cut it open, I use a craft blade like this and then I make sure I leave a little hinge so I could fold that back down. It just has kind of a rubbery feel to it, kind of springs. It's just kind of fun to play with. I'm pushing it straight down into the stencil. And I'm being gentle because I don't really want to get it under the stencil. You can also use stencil spray like pixie spray.
Then we're just going to come across and scrape that off and put it right back in the jar. So you really don't use that much. Make sure you're using a straight edge. That gives you a nice straight appearance on your finished project. Put it all back in there. Now, it is wise to clean up your mess after using any mousse, but I'm especially I've discovered with the chalk mousse, you should clean up your stencil and your palette knife right away. I like to hold the paper down as I'm lifting this off. Now I'm going to go wash this, but in the meantime, I want to show you one that is already dried. This one here is dried. So it only fades just ever so slightly. I don't even know if you can pick that up on camera, the difference between this and this. Okay, so I have washed my stencil, and I want to show you the other new stencil that they have given me to try out. Okay, and I'm going to show you a couple cards that I made using the mousse. I'm using the Mint Mojito Mousse and this is on black cardstock and this is on white cardstock. And they're both just very stunning. They're beautiful and they have a really interesting texture to them because they are the chalk. They feel exactly like you'd expect them to feel, rather chalky. Not sandpapery, just slightly chalky. So I think they're beautiful. I love them. I have mounted them on the cardstock. That's this um, aqua, beautiful aqua specialty paper. I don't remember the name of it right now, and this is all I have left because I've used it so much. But anyway, I think you're going to really like this chalk mousse. I think I'd really like the white on black, I think is my favorite, but I like all of the mousses. I like the chalk mousse, I like the embellishment mousse, and the crackle mousse. I think they're all fun to play with, and I think you're going to like them too. Make sure you look at the links down below and I will give you the links on how to get some yourself.